Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I am so glad that you are here today. Today I am filming one of my most favorite videos that I do, and that is the best of beauty roundup for the entire year. So this is obviously the best of 2022. What I'm gonna do is something a little bit different this year. I typically do all my favorites in one video, but this time I am going to separate them out into two different videos. So this is part one. This is going to be the best of skincare and the best of body care. And then in a separate video, I'm going to film the best of 2022 for makeup. So stay tuned for that. Um, this video is going up on the day after Christmas. So as you all know, Christmas is falling on a Sunday and then New Year's Day is also going to be on a Sunday. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna post this on Monday. So happy day after Christmas for all of you who celebrate Christmas. I hope you all had a beautiful holiday season, a beautiful Hanukkah, beautiful Christmas, beautiful Kwanzaa, whatever you celebrate. If you don't celebrate anything at all, I hope you have had a lovely winter time season. And then for the next video, the one that's going to focus on my favorites of makeup for the year, I think I will go ahead and post that on New Year's Day, which is a Sunday, because that usually seems to be kind of a quiet day. Uh, so I think that seems like a good day to go ahead and post on my regular day, which is Sunday for me posting. So anyway, um, I also wanna say that please watch this video to the end because I am going to be doing a giveaway at the very end of this video. One of my favorite brands, the founder reached out to me and offered to do a giveaway for this holiday season. So of course I took her up on that. And a part of the giveaway is one of my absolute favorite products. It's a staple of mine. So please do watch till the end because yeah, there's going to be a giveaway at the end, which I'm super excited about. So I wanna start off the video, which has nothing to do with skincare, but I realized that when I did my Japan video where I talked about my trip to Japan, I was totally remiss in not mentioning a big part of that trip, which was ceramics. We were with Heath Ceramics for that trip. They helped curate the trip and obviously being a ceramics uh, company, we did visit several ceramic studios and one person that we, or one artist studio that we visited was Akio Nukaga. Such a beautiful person. He was so sweet to let us into his studio. He actually showed us, or he actually made some ceramics while we were there at his potter's wheel. And I did purchase this piece from him. I absolutely love it. It sits on our mantle. So I absolutely love this piece. It is so beautiful and hopefully you can get a sense of the texture of this piece. So this is absolutely one of my favorites from 2022. My whole trip to Japan was one of my favorites from 2022. So if you didn't watch my um, video where I talked about Japan, I will link that somewhere up here. I always forget which one it, <laughs> which side it goes up on, but anyway, I will link that if you're interested in hearing more about my trip to Japan, but I, I can't believe I forgot to talk about the ceramics and we went to this uh, town called um, Mashiko, which is known for its ceramics. So that's where we went and we got to meet, like I said, we got to meet Akio and go to his studio, which was just incredible. So anyway, I just wanted to go ahead and mention that. And I will also mention that in that video, I also talked about my favorites from the fall. I did mention a brand called Kotoshina, which is also one of my favorites from 2022, but I'm just not going to talk about it too much because I think it's going to be very difficult to procure that brand here in the States. I mean, if you live in Japan, yes, by all means, I highly recommend Kotoshina, but I think otherwise it's going to be pretty challenging to get. But I just wanted to throw it out there that I do love the brand. It is a favorite of 2022, but I'm just going to go ahead and leave it at that and dive into the products that are going to be easier for those of you who are uh, not in Japan to be able to get your hands on. So let's go ahead and dive into those. So my first favorite of 2022 when it comes to skincare is the Inky List Cleansing Balm. Now, I think I mentioned in a previous video that I wasn't that into cleansing balms so much anymore, which is kind of true and kind of not true. Kind of not true because this is the third tube that I have gone to, uh, that I've gone through of the Inky List Oat Cleansing Balm. The reason why I love this balm is because it is just so easy to use and it is also incredibly inexpensive. It is $11 
retail, you know, and that's before any kind of discount code you might be able to get. The reason why I also love this is because you can apply it to a wet face. That is how they recommend using it. So I always have this in the shower with me. And obviously when you're in the shower, your face is already wet. And so that's always kind of challenging for me when I want to use either um, a non-emulsifying oil cleanser or even an oil cleanser that does emulsify. A lot of times you do need to have a dry face. So when I wanna use an oil-based cleanser, it's a little challenging when your face is already wet in the shower and then you've gotta dry it off before you use it. So I just find this to be super convenient. I love that it has the oat kernel oil in here, which is really soothing. So I just find this super convenient. It's unscented. It's just, like I said, super convenient, really easy to use, inexpensive. And I just find myself reaching for it quite a bit, obviously, because it is the third tube I've gone through. And I think I bought this for the first time last year, maybe during the Sephora sale, if I'm remembering correctly. So obviously this has become a big favorite of mine and I, highly recommend it. Um, another cleanser that actually, this is a very recent discovery of mine. I was a little reluctant to include it in favorites of 2022, but I really have fallen head over heels in love with this. And this is the Jordan Samuel Matinee Cream Cleanser. So this is a relatively new release from Jordan Samuel. I'm not exactly sure when he released it, but to me, it's it's a new release. And this is another one of those products that you uh, that Jordan recommends applying to wet skin. Uh, I love the texture of this. It is kind of a milky, creamy cleanser, and it has sesame oil in it, rosehip oil, green tea, chamomile. There's also glycerin and aloe, and there's also silt in it, which is basically like a sea clay, so it gives it this really beautiful spa-like scent. It is a milky, creamy cleanser that kind of emulsifies a little bit with just a little gentle foaming action, not anything that's going to be stripping or anything like that, but it does rinse clean. And I find it to be just a very unique, beautiful cleansing experience. It can be a second cleanse, a first cleanse, depending upon what your needs are. And Jordan created this so it does intentionally rinse clean so you don't have to use a cloth to remove it. So if you do have really sensitive skin and you don't want to have to use a washcloth to remove your cleanser because you do find that to be too irritating. That's why he created it. So a really beautiful cleanser. I love milky cleansers that just foam up just very, very slightly. So even though I haven't had it very long because I did purchase it through the Black Friday discount code, I just really have fallen in love with it and I really wanted to include it in my favorites. And then the final cleanser here to talk about today is from Eco Botanicals. This is the Amina Cleansing Oil. For those of you who've been watching my videos over the year, you're not gonna be surprised about this because I have mentioned it already a couple times on my channel. This is one of those cleansers that is not emulsifying, so you do need to use the cloth method to remove this. This is just such a beautiful, stunning cleansing oil for those of you who like to do a beautiful massage and then remove your cleansing oil with a cloth. This has camellia seed oil, peach kernel seed oil, castor oil, sesame seed oil, and squalane. And then it has such a beautiful scent from lemongrass oil, as well as petite grain and rose geranium. If you recall, if you frequent my channel, you know I'm not a huge, huge fan of rose geranium. Um, I can just smell the oil coming from the bottle here, uh, but the rose geranium is not super strong in here. It just has a really beautiful blend from the lemongrass, the petite grain, and the rose geranium. Very well balanced. The scent to me is so therapeutic almost addicting. I just, I love, love the scent. And in fact, I was very tempted to purchase another bottle. I'm not quite finished with it, but I'm almost finished with it. And also for those of you who've been frequenting my channel, you know that I was on a no buy for most of uh, 2021 for about nine months. And I'm really, another thing that I didn't mention actually in that video uh, that I, and I'll link it here. One thing that I have been really trying hard not to do is buy backups of things, you know, really finishing a product before I purchase another one, but I was tempted to buy a backup of this, but I did not because I still have quite a lot of my, let's see, my Infiori Lustra cleansing oil. So I am going to wait till I finish that 
before I purchase another non-emulsifying cleansing oil, but when I do, it will definitely be the Eco Botanicals Amina cleansing oil because I absolutely love it. So I will definitely look forward to that. And again, highly recommend checking it out if you are a lover of non-emulsifying cleansing oils. So that does it for favorite cleansers from 2022. In terms of mists, I only have one new discovery from the year that I just really fell in love with, and this is another recent one. This is from Siam Seas, and this was in the December box while a beauty box. A lot of times, and I think over, I don't know, maybe the last three to five years, what I've done is I have separated out the favorites that I've had from Boxwalla over the year, but what I'm doing this time is I'm just integrating them seamlessly into this video. And so just to let you know, this is in the December Boxwalla Beauty Box. I think they maybe are sold out, but there is a wait list. So if you're watching this kind of in real time, uh, you can sign up for the waitlist if you were interested in the December Boxwalla Beauty Box. But anyway, back to this being a favorite from 2022. This is such a beautiful mist. This is the Reservoir, what is this called? This is the Reservoir Prebiotic Face Mist from Siam Seas. I don't know if I clearly spelled that out. And this has colloidal copper. There's also colloidal silver in here. There's propolis, prebiotics, beautiful hydrosols. There's also vegan glucosamine, which I believe is a precursor to hyaluronic acid. So it's a lovely humectant and it's also going to help hydrate your skin and it helps your skin hold on to moisture. So it's just super lovely. I really fell in love with the scent of this. It's not super strong and it doesn't linger on the skin for very long. So yeah, just suffice to say, I absolutely fell in love with this mist. So huge favorite for 2022. Like I said, that's the only mist that really stood out to me from the year. Moving on to serums, I really fell in love with the Merit Great Skin. And as you'll see here, this is a biphase product. So the oils are on the top and then the water-based uh, ingredients are on the bottom. I think we've got it in focus there. So you do need to shake it up before you use it and then everything disperses obviously. So in the Merit Great Skin is niacinamide. There is cacao seed extract, which is high in caffeine. There's also Japanese gold thread, which is a new ingredient to me, but apparently it's very high in antioxidants. And you can see I've used a pretty good amount of this and considering the number of serums that I have in my collection. I've used a really good amount of this. All you need is one pumper. That's all I need to do my whole face. And I use this a great deal over the fall, have also continued this into the winter. This was on my fall faves list. And it just does a really nice job of not only hydrating, but it also moisturizes. It gives your skin just a really beautiful glow, just kind of like livens up your skin works really well under foundation. And yeah, I just reach for it a lot and I just really love what it does to my skin. So that was a huge favorite from the year. I also wanna talk about the Rose MD Retinol Booster. I am out of this. Uh, that was in a previous empties video. I have not repurchased it yet because I do have other retinol serums. And again, in the spirit of my no buy, I, well, I wasn't buying anything, but in PR, I have received some other retinol serums, which I'm going to be talking about in a second. Uh, but yeah, so I didn't repurchase it, but I definitely will in the future because I loved it so much. So I'm going to post a picture of it here so you can see what it looks like, but it's this beautiful milky serum. It's on the thin side. For those of you who like that type of serum, it's got aloe, squalane, retinol, of course. There's also lactic and glycolic acid as well as malic acid but it is very gentle. I never got any kind of irritation from it. It's just so beautiful and super lovely. And Rose MD uh, reached out to me and gave me a 15% off code. So I'll have that information listed down below. So if you are interested 
in RoseMD, you know, you've got that code there that you can take advantage of. I do want to give a honorable mention to a couple of other products that they did send me, which was so sweet. And I've really been enjoying both of them, but I, they're very recent and I haven't used them that much. So I can't, you know, I wouldn't feel comfortable putting them in my absolute favorites from 2022, but they did send me their super fruit brightening cleanser. And first of all, take a look at the size of this. And I can't remember the price right off the bat, but very reasonably priced. This is six fluid ounces, I think. Really lovely cleanser. I've used it just a couple times, have really enjoyed it. Just a, a really nice foaming cleanser. And this is their Super Fruit Exfoliating Tonic. I think I've only gotten a chance to use this once or twice. Again, look at the size of this bottle. Love these large sizes. This is uh, five or six fluid ounces. I don't have my glasses right here with me. I think it says five fluid ounces. But anyway, big honorable mention for both of these products. So if you've had your eye on these, again, you can use my discount code. I think it's Trish15, but again, I will put that information down below. So I really have um, been enjoying Rose MD. I think it's, you know, they're just a great brand. Rose Ingleton is a dermatologist, and so she's been in the business for a long time. She knows skin in and out. I do feel very comfortable recommending that line. All right, so moving on to the other retinol serum that I just really fell in love with this last year. And this was also featured in the Boxwalla Beauty Box. I think this was from, let's see. Oh, this was in the October Boxwalla Beauty Box. So this was from Bloom Effects. This was the brand that was featured. And this is the Black Tulip Overnight Retinol Serum. And this contains Centella Asiatica, also known as Go to Cola. There's Bisabolol, which is going to help calm and soothe. There's Niacinamide. And I think I said that it's a retinol serum, but it's actually a retinoid serum. There's not retinol in here. There's HPR, which is hydropinicolone retinoate, I think. I just wrote down HPR in my notes. There's also lactic acid, malic acid in here, as well as Bacuchiol. And I am almost out of this, but you can see in the dropper, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get it out of the dropper. You can see the purple color. And I'm at the point in this bottle where I'm having to turn it over and just kind of dump it out on my hand. But you can at least see the color. You can see the beautiful packaging. I did get a backup of this box because it was such a great deal that I knew I wanted to have another one. I did mention in my previous video where I was talking about my no buy, how I did break my no buy in October. So I had already broken my no buy. So I did purchase a backup of this, which I'm so glad I did because I am out of this. And so now I have have another bottle ready to go. That is how much I love this product because I do receive these boxes for review from the Boxwella Beauty Box. Loved it so much that I did buy it on my own. And then another serum that I want to talk about is actually kind of a serum combination that I create on my own. And this is from Lip Botanical, and this was in their Brightest Star release. This was a summer seasonal limited edition release. And the limited edition trio, I don't think is still available on the website. I think it had a cleanser as well as this revitalizing essence and the brightening oil serum. I think the three of those were a part of the limited edition summertime kit, but you can still get the revitalizing essence online. And then of course the, which, and this is limited edition. And then the first light brightening oil serum is just a part of the permanent line. So anyway, what I really love to do, and like I said, this has become a favorite from 2022 is combining these two together. So the revitalizing essence, and I just want to reiterate that this is limited edition. So if you are interested in this, you would want to snap this up sooner than later. This has a beautiful blend of lemon balm, calendula, and chamomile. Those are all three hydrosols. There's also moth bean extract, and I absolutely love moth bean extract. There's also peptides in here. So just a really beautiful essence. And this is on the thin side. So it's almost watery. So truly like an essence. And then the first light oil has beautiful berry oils in it. There's calendula. There's also date extract as well as vitamin C. There's a oil soluble vitamin C ester in here. So what I do is I just put a couple of pumps in my palm 
of the essence and then just a couple of drops of the first light brightening oil and then just mix it up in my palms and then apply it to my face. So this also became just a huge favorite from 2022. And then I also wanna say that I re-fell in love with the First Light Brightening Oil. This is such a beautiful oil. So if you are looking for an oil that has vitamin C in it, in particular, highly recommend this oil. And then what I also kind of re-fell in love with, um, which was inspired by this oil, was adding a couple of drops of this into my morning time moisturizer. So I really enjoyed re-falling in love with this oil from that Brightest Star summer release. I mean, I knew that I've always absolutely loved this oil serum, but it's always nice to kind of rediscover an old love. So this was just a new rediscovery for 2022. All right, so moving into moisturizers. I don't have this with me, so I'll throw up a picture of it. This is the Dam Dam Mochi Mochi Luminous Cream. I don't know if I'm saying the brand correctly. Dom Dom, Dam Dam, I still don't know. I probably should have asked while I was in Japan because this is a Japanese brand. This is such a gorgeous cream. Just sort of like that perfect texture for me. It is emollient, it soaks in beautifully. It doesn't have a matte texture, not overly dewy or greasy. Just a really, really beautiful cream. Absolutely fell in love with it. Com you know, I would have repurchased it if I was actually in need of a cream. I just have so many creams going right now. I'm not exactly sure how that happened, but I do. Uh, the ingredients in here are sunflower oil, shea butter, willow bark. There's actually shiso leaf in here, which is a Japanese herb, which is high in antioxidants and omega-3s. There's also phytic acid, which is a gentle AHA, which is found in Japanese rice. So anyway, I truly, truly love this cream and I am actually looking forward to getting through a lot of my cream so I can repurchase this cream because just absolutely beautiful. Uh, another huge favorite from this year is the African Botanics Silver Rescue Cream. And as you can see, I am pretty much all done with this. I don't know if you can tell. I just have a teeny little bit of the product at the bottom of the bottle. And what I've been doing is I've been taking a chopstick to fish out the very, very last bits of it, but I'm pretty much all done with this. This also was in a box Boxwalla Beauty Box. I think this was from September. And the only downside on this is it is very, very expensive. It is $140 for 1.2 ounces. So this is kind of one of those things where I just don't think I would purchase it on my own, but I really did absolutely love it. It has full spectrum CBD, there's squalene, colloidal silver, um, marula oil. I really loved the scent. I don't think technically it is scented, so it's probably just those raw materials that I'm smelling, but there was something about this smell that, uh, I think I said this before when I was reviewing it in a previous video, it just kind of has this nostalgic scent to me. I don't know exactly what it is, but I really, really enjoyed the scent, but I think the high price tag is probably a deal breaker for me, but it still was a favorite from 2022. But I do have an alternative for you all, which is a really beautiful night cream. I am out of it, used it all up, but I am going to talk about it and throw up a picture here for you. This was the Bybee Bakuchiol Lightweight Night Cream. Now I did purchase this while I was still on my no buy, and that was because I needed a night or I needed a lotion for travel when uh, I went to Portugal with my family. And so I thought this was a great option. So this really was something that I needed for travel. So this was $18 for 1.35 ounces. I felt like this was such a good deal. It has a pretty simple uh, ingredient deck. There's grapeseed oil, shea, bakuchiol. It does have some lavender oil in it. And if I'm remembering correctly, it's a very mild scent and it dissipates very quickly. So I don't think it would be super offensive to anybody unless you just hate the scent of lavender. But yeah, this was such a great moisturizer. I mean, it was not moisturizing or emollient enough for me to use at nighttime, except for when we were traveling, I did put in a couple of drops. I just had a little travel size of an oil. So I did put in a couple of drops of oil at nighttime. So that worked out for me but I, I did need to amplify it a little bit at nighttime, but yeah, so great during the day. I didn't wear a lot of makeup when I was traveling, but when I got home and I wanted to use a little bit of foundation, it worked well under foundation, under uh, sunscreen, so it was great. 
I would definitely purchase this again, no questions asked. I just don't need to purchase it right now because like I said, I'm still going through some creams, but yes, huge, huge rave for the Bybee Bacuchiel night cream. Absolutely loved it, highly recommend. Uh, moving on to balms, I just have one to talk about and that is the Earthwise Beauty Isadora. This is what the jar looks like. I will show you real quickly the texture of this because that's pretty easy to do with a balm. You'll see that it's a little stiff, but then once it warms up, it just becomes this beautiful, creamy, and it's that shea butter um, feeling. And it's just super, super creamy, but you really do have to like shea butter because it has a lot of shea butter in it. And the shea butter in here is undeodorized shea from Ghana. So it has a really beautiful, smoky, woodsy scent, which I find just so like dreamy and intoxicating. It's just absolutely gorgeous. There's also baobab seed oil in here. There's prickly pear seed oil, and there is also vitamin C in here, and it is the tetrahexyl dexyl ascorbate. I don't know if I'm saying that correctly. I always screw that one up, but anyway, it's the THD uh, vitamin C ester in here. And I love using this at nighttime. And what I do is I just do my whole skincare routine and then I you know, put it in my palms and then just kind of pat it on my skin to just lock in all of that lovely you know, skincare that I've used prior to going to bed at nighttime. So yeah, it is just a gorgeous balm and I cannot <laughs> do it justice like uh, Ava does over on the Earthwise Beauty website. So I say this almost every time I talk about Earthwise Beauty, you have to just go over to her website to see her product description. She goes into such lovely detail and very informative detail about each ingredient or the you know, kind of the star ingredients that she wants to highlight over on her website and the inspiration behind her products. So yeah, if you are interested in Earthwise Beauty Isadora or any of her products, obviously you should go over to the website and check that out. But yes, Earthwise Beauty Isadora, huge favorite from 2022. And then I also want to talk about another product kind of similar to the uh, Live Botanical First Light Oil. This is an old favorite that I just kind of rediscovered from 2022, and this is the Lena Hansen Global Face Trio. I think the white bottle might be getting a little blasted out by the lighting, but hopefully you get the idea of what the packaging looks like. And the reason for this inspiration is last year I did a celebration for Boxwalla's sixth anniversary. And I went back and looked over those six years as to what my favorite six products were from the Boxwalla. And so over this last year, I've been using it quite a bit. And yes, I have just completely re-fallen in love with the Global Trio. It is just such an incredible product. So it's it's a dry powder, so kind of like, you know, a dry mask for those of you who use dry masks. You can cleanse with it, it exfoliates, and you can use it as a mask. And I'll go ahead and just show you so you can see what it looks like. But my favorite thing to do with the Global Trio is I like to mix it with the Live Botanical Cleansing Oil. So what I do is when I'm in the shower, I pump, I don't know, maybe like six to eight pumps of the Live Botanical Cleansing Oil into my palm. And then I shake some of the Global Trio into that, mix it up, and then I just apply it to my face. And I don't know what the deal is with that mixture, but it is like magical, heavenly, First of all, the scent is incredible. Like it just smell, I don't know what it is with the mixture of those two, but it just smells like freshly baked lemon bars. It just, it smells so, so good. And then just, you know, gently massaging my face with that mixture. I don't know, it just turns into some kind of magic. And then I just massage it, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute, you know, just very gently rinse it off. And then my skin just feels like a baby's butt. 
I don't know what it is. It's incredible. I love doing it. And so that is my favorite way to use the uh, Lena Hansen Global Trio. So absolutely love it. I do also mix it with other things as well, other cleansing oils. That's my favorite way to use it is mixing it with a cleansing oil. Uh, but yeah, obviously my favorite cleansing oil to use with it is the Lip Botanical one. Uh, in terms of the ingredients, there's orange peel in it. There's Thanaka powder, which comes from the Thanaka tree. Uh, it tightens pores, it helps decrease blackheads and clarifies the skin. Uh, it's used in Burma. It's been used in Burma for centuries for its skin benefits and it is grown through sustainable farming practices. Uh, there's also ginseng, um, in the Global Trio, which uh, is rich in vitamins and minerals. It's a skin balancer. And then there's also coconut milk powder in the Global Trio, which is high in vitamins and minerals and fatty acids. Now we're gonna go ahead and move on to body care. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is the Kosas deodorant, and this is baking soda free. So that's good news for those of you who don't like baking soda in your deodorant. This has an AHA blend, which helps fight BO. I can definitely speak to that. I feel like this is the best Best thing I've ever used to help fight BO. And then also the AHAs in here do help decrease uh, ingrown hairs. I absolutely love this. I think the, uh, the other comparable product to this is the Necessaire uh, deodorant. I think they're both very, very similar. I think this one actually does work a little bit better for me. I do like the Necessaire packaging better because it does come in a glass bottle, whatever you want to call it. So that is nice for recycling, but I do feel like this one does work a little bit better for me. In terms of body moisturizing, I absolutely fell in love with the Osea body butter. I think this is just such a beautiful body butter. I've gone through a smaller one and now this is the bigger one. This was sent to me in PR and I'm super happy for that. And that did not bias my opinion of this product at all. I just, I really love it. I think it's an incredible body butter. It has Andaria seaweed, which is really great for moisturizing your skin. There's shea butter in here, ceramides and amino acids. It has a really lovely light citrus scent, which dissipates very quickly. I find this to be one of those body butters, like a rare body butter that just soaks into the skin very, very quickly. So you get that thick body butter experience, but it soaks in really quickly. So you don't have to worry about, you know, getting dressed or pulling on jeans or whatever. And I also really like mixing it with body oil. So if I kind of want a little bit more of that, you know, kind of emollient sort of luxurious oil experience. I do really like creating my own concoction with this butter, with this body butter and an oil. So really a huge rave for the Osea body butter. I also really fell in love with the Necessaire body exfoliator, particularly in the eucalyptus scent. When I was really sick this fall, this was very therapeutic for me. And the ingredients in here are really unique. There's charcoal powder in here. There's also some AHAs and the scent is just really beautiful. Obviously the eucalyptus is the overriding scent, but there's also lavender, fir, ginger, orange peel. And I was a little surprised when I was reading the ingredients, but there is a little bit of patchouli, but it's not strong at all. I, I'm not a big fan of patchouli uh, in my products in general or even in perfume, but when it's used judiciously, I don't mind it. And I do actually feel like it can enhance a fragrance, obviously. And then speaking of fragrance, this is a good segue into the very last product, which, you know, I'm putting in with the body products because it is a perfume. And this was from Ojai Wild. This is their Rose Love. And this is just such a gorgeous perfume. I'm gonna go ahead and spray a little bit on me now because I didn't put perfume on today. This is just heavenly. This is, and you'll, <laughs> you'll know why I love this so much in just a moment here when I talk about the ingredients. Obviously it's called Rose Love. So this is a rose forward perfume and it contains their in-house distilled tea rose extract. And the rose is very vibrant. It's not a powdery rose. It doesn't smell hyper sweet or anything. It's very fresh. And like I said, very very vibrant. So kind of gives you that feeling of being in a rose garden with the sun shining, like maybe it's just rained, but then the sun is shining. So it kind of has that very dewy, wet rose type of scent. And then this makes me so, so happy. There's Jasmine Sambach in here. So it also has that very 
warm resinous type of jasmine scent that I just absolutely adore. And it's also very juicy. I know that when I talked about that, I'm pretty sure I used that term when I talked about this previously, when I was reviewing this fragrance, that it has just this really juicy aspect to it. Like you just feel like you can kind of sink your teeth into this perfume. So like I said, just very like kind of dewy and, and green and just, um, very juicy floral, like the, the petals are just like super thick <laughs> of the rose and the jasmine. And then there's also sandalwood and frankincense and cypress. So it's not like hyper sweet. So it's, it's also very grounded. And then also there's neroli in here and ylang ylang. I don't get a lot of the ylang ylang. That's not a, a big favorite of mine in perfume. Um, so I'm happy to say I'm not getting a lot of that in here. There's also galbanum in here which is can be like a very sharp green note, but I'm not getting a sharpness from this perfume. To me, it feels very well rounded. It's got a softness to it. There's no edginess in my mind to this perfume. Like I said, it just feels very juicy, very fresh, kind of dewy. It's just, it's very, very beautiful. I really love it a lot. So if you are intrigued by this and that sounds like a lovely type of perfume, I do highly recommend it. Now this is a 100% all natural perfume. So if you're used to perfumes that are more conventional, you know, that do last upwards of, you know, 24 hours or even days, you do need to, you know, some anticipatory guidance here. That is not gonna be the case with this perfume. This perfume lasts more in the hours realm, you know, which to me, I don't mind at all because I love reapplying uh, these perfumes. So to me, that is not a negative. I actually prefer that from my perfumes. I don't like perfumes to be too tenacious. I would rather have to reapply than smell perfumes, you know, on my clothes or whatever for days and days. So just wanted to let you know that if you're not familiar with the wear time of natural perfumes, but anyway, that does it, you all. That is the roundup from 2022 in terms of my favorites for skincare as well as body care. I hope you enjoyed it. Please do let me know what your favorites have been from the year. I would love to hear from you. And as I mentioned, I do have a giveaway that I need to let you know about, and that is from Sahara Rose. And they're going to give away one of their Natural Radiance Bright and Luminous Delights gift set. And I'm so excited because this contains one of my absolute favorite products of all time. This I featured in my favorites of 2021, and this is their Hydra C Serum. This is my favorite vitamin C serum. I have been using this. I feel like I've been using this for a lot longer than a year. So I don't know exactly when this was released, but I've been using, I feel like I've been using this for two or three years, but I just included it in my favorites of 2021. So this is another one of those serums that contains not only vitamin C, but it does also contain moth bean, which as I mentioned, is one of my favorite extracts. I love using this in the morning and yeah, it's just, I'm not gonna belabor the point, it's just my favorite vitamin C serum. And the set also contains their Luminous Clarifying Cleanser, which comes in a really generous 3.4 ounce size. This is a pH balanced cream cleanser that is made of illuminating blend of pomegranate and cactus enzymes soothing rose and natural oils. It gently deep cleanses the skin without over drying and it effectively removes makeup and impurities, leaving the skin nourished, soft and radiant. And I have had this cleanser in the past. I absolutely loved it. It was really such a beautiful experience. Again, kind of not exactly like the Jordan Samuel one that I was talking about um, previously in this video, but uh, one of those milky cream cleansers that if I'm remembering correctly, slightly emulsifies a little bit. I do remember absolutely loving it and feeling like I would love to have it again in the future. So I'm really excited that one of you gets to try this duo. So for this giveaway, all you need to do is make sure that you are subscribed to my channel and please do subscribe to my channel because YouTube is just not doing the best job job here at helping us small channels grow. It's just really, really frustrating. So I would so appreciate it. Even if you don't want to join in on this giveaway, if you could subscribe to my channel, that would be so, so appreciated. But getting back to the giveaway, to be eligible for the giveaway, you need to subscribe to my channel. You need to like the video and then leave a comment down below letting me know what either your favorite from 2022 is or what is on your wish list for 2023, which sounds absolutely strange to say 2023. And then you're going to 
need to let me know how to get a hold of you. So if you're on Instagram, let me know what your Instagram handle is. Uh, if you're not on Instagram, then I guess if you're comfortable with it, let me know what your email address is. And then I'll go ahead and leave this open until Friday. And then I will be announcing the winner over on Instagram. If you're not on Instagram, then I will just let you know privately if you have won this giveaway. So thank you so much for watching. Like I said, I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season and I will see you in the next video where I will be doing part two, where I talk about my favorite makeup from 2022. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.